we're going to start with a blank slate here with my fireplace and mantle. I'm Marie, in case you're new. We're going to just um, take this table runner here. Now, I usually use this on my kitchen table, but I thought it might be fun to try it on the mantle here for an Americana display. And so far, I'm really liking it. Just get it straightened out there. So to that, I'm going to add back in my baguette bowl. Now I keep this up here most of the time and inside it lately I've been keeping some pit berries, although I, it's a pit berry garland actually, and I just have it setting in there. And um, this is how I've had it for a while now. Sometimes I put other things in this baguette bowl. So then to the side of that, I'm gonna take this little riser and I'm not really sure where I got this wooden riser. I can't remember, it might have been Hobby Lobby, but I'm just gonna take that and get it set just the way I want it. And then um, you'll see what I'm gonna do right here. I'm gonna take this card that I have. I've had this card forever. Isn't this the prettiest picture? And I have been wanting to use this for a really long time and I decided that this was the year that I'm gonna use it in my decorating. So I'm just going to prop that up there and then I'm going to just set my little knob that I purchased at the antique outlet. I'm having a lot of fun using this to decorate this spring and summer and I'm just going to tuck that next to it there. To the other side of the mantle I'm going to add this little riser. Now I believe this riser came from Hearth and Hand if I'm not mistaken, and it's a little hard to see if I have it straight when I'm on the side and not in front of the camera, but I was just trying to make sure I had it straight there. Taking my little white pitcher and then these florals from Hobby Lobby, setting that just on top of the riser there. And then to either side of that, I'm gonna add my little stars. Now I purchased these off of Etsy and I can link that shop for you below. I do not know if they still have these, but I do know the shop is still around and that the person who owns it might have some other things if they don't have these particular pieces anymore. So then the other thing is just tuck a few flags in some of the display pieces that you already have. I'm adding a couple flags here to this Demi John jar. And I think it just, you know, a few flags here and there, you just tuck them in and you have instant Americana. So this is a little wreath that I have and I just took some ribbon and I just tied the ribbon together with a piece of jute and then I just tied it to the bottom of the wreath there. And uh, so those are in the uh, 4th of July or Flag Day colors. And I'm just gonna take that and I'm just going to hang it up here on the mirror. You'll see me do that. And then I'll just straighten that out a little bit. And after I get that hung, I have pretty much gotten my fireplace and mantle the way that I want it for the 4th of July and for Flag Day. Really simple decor pieces, nothing fancy, really easy to do.
Another piece that I'm enjoying decorating with this year is a sugar mold that I purchased off of Amazon. This particular sugar mold has three slots and I have them filled up with pinto beans. Now I've used little candles on top of this before, but today I thought it would be fun to take some small flags. I believe I got these either at Hobby Lobby or the dollar store. And I'm just sticking these in here and I thought that that would make a fun display for the table. Now my table is a little narrow, so I don't really like to go too large with displays here. So I find this galvanized tray with the sugar mold in it works really well. So I just have those flags in there and then to the sides, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this boxwood greenery. Now this particular greenery came from Hobby Lobby and it kind of comes in a bouquet. So what I do is I buy the bouquet and you wait till it goes half off. And then what you want to do is you want, I separated it is what I did. You find that in the greenery section in Hobby Lobby. And I'm just tucking a little bit here on this side also. Get that in there, tuck it through the slots there. And I find that this just makes a simple display. And this is really easy to remove. You can just take the whole thing and just pick it up and remove it if you don't want it there, if you need to put other things out there. But I thought this would make a nice display for the 4th of July or for Flag Day. So what I ended up doing was I ended up moving the sugar mold back into the family room. And I decided that I actually liked it on that galvanized tray. And so I moved it in there just like that. The next thing that I have for you is a tray. And we're going to take this tray and to that we're going to add this little blue truck. I believe this came from Target. We're going to add this little mug. And then to that we're going to add a little heart, little gingham heart there in the red and white. This little tiny milk jug also came milk can I should say and then to that I added a magnet and then I added another this is a little heart that I made myself with some ticking fabric I took that little star that I had on my fireplace tuck it in there little house I tucked another American flag into the mug there and then another couple of little hearts there and there you have a pretty Americana style tray. I think my favorite today is the fireplace and mantle and using all of this decor. I think that I really liked that the best. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. I do shopping, decorating, and DIY videos that are all homework decor related. If you would love to see more of these videos, you can check out these two videos here or feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.